Hello and welcome to Infinity. Time for a giveaway. Uh, in the link below, you'll find a link to the page here where you'll find Dave's Color Boosters. Click on there and you'll get the downloads here. Click on the download and it will download for you. And uh, what you'll get then is if you go to your library, which is in the info library, and down there, sorry, info studio library import macros and this will where you'll be wherever you download to will be this double click that and it'll come up here and in there you got four kind of boosters here we've got a really unexciting picture but it's got some red green and blue in it which we can boost first one click on that rgb boost immediately there's a boost but it's kind of a halfway thing and um if you like, you can sort of start from the, from the bottom and move up. So the green there, you know, that's going to bring up the grass. You have to slide. It won't appear as you go. Let go and then it'll appear. So if you want to, you can sort of click and move it along like that. So you can boost up the sky or whatever and, you know, watch for the things in the middle. And so bring up the red, etc. Anyway, there you go. That's one, but it's based on RGB. So th it's it will push up the reds, greens, and blues. The um, kind of complement to that is a CMI boost, and this time it's cyan, magenta, and yellow that is being pushed up. So you've got some effectively yellow in this one here. So you turn that one up, and that building is going to get yellower, which you may not want. Uh, the cyan, you're going to get a lot in the sky. Yellow, you get a lot in, in foliage and green and so on. So if we turn these down and you turn up the yellow, the building goes up, but also the grass goes up as well. And the cyan will bring up the sky. Magenta is often, in this sort of picture, is sort of a supporting colour. So yeah, it kind of has a subtle effect. So you can turn that up. It doesn't seem to do much, but it just does a little, which can be all the difference. Anyway, that's that one. The colour boost is actually a very, very simple one. It's a symbol click. And bing, there you go, it's boosted it. It uses a formula in procedural texture, but leaves another layer on top like that. It's, it's blended screen in here, so you can play with the blend mode to do that. But by and large, you can see the before and after, it just does a nice little boost. Again, something to try quick if you just want to perk up the colours. And the final one is a high pass colour boost. I've got another video on how this works. But by and large, it uses the high pass filter to do this, uh, which is normally used for sharpening. But you can turn up the radius on this and you can see the effect it has. It kind of affects the structure of the picture as well. Um, it uses overlay blend mode there, but you can also change the blend modes to others for different effects. When you apply this, by the way, it all comes up, up, up here. So you've got the whole high pass there, which you can change. But it uses the luminosity blend mode to. Uh, create this effect from the grey layer that it, it uses. Anyway, that's it. Uh, four ways to boost colours very, very quickly. Single click, simple sliders. Hope they're useful and thank you very much for watching.